Yellow and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. So we now have everything at 100% and we can finally do the special stage as part of the game. So you can actually get to 120% completion and you can do this by just going back to Nork Nexus and then the final stage will have unlocked for you. So this is basically Nasty's hideout essentially that we're going to here and we're gonna steal all of his treasure so um shh, don't tell him so we've got a gold trophy for completing everything as well and so these are the areas you know we've got the final boss fight there and finally nasty's loot has opened up for us so getting to 100 percent completion on everything was very grindy and um, mainly going back for the time trials and realizing that you can get two lots of stuff for those in some of these games was, you know, a main thing to remember as well. But Nasty's Loot. So, in this stage, this is me trying to figure out what is going on because, I mean, initially it looks like you can't actually do anything because there's nowhere to go. But the secret to this level is the fact that you can actually fly but with flying it doesn't re really let you fly as high as you want straight away and you do have to get up to a higher plane before it will let you go any higher so for now you've got all the treasures to collect same as always there are a few egg snatchers around and keys that you have to collect as well so it's just the same as a regular old level but you get to sort of mess with Nasty's hideout and see what the heck is going on. So, like, we've got this Egg Snatcher here. He's just going to run us around this hole for a little while. Come back! Please come back. There we go. So, there is the key for now. I mean, this level, I wish it would have been a little bit more dynamic, especially since it was a revamp of the old games. But, hey, you know, it is just a little bonus for anyone that wanted to get 100% completion. And at this very point in time, I am unsure as to whether 100 slash 120% completion in the various games is going to unlock anything extra special at the end. But, you know, if you did play the previous Spyro games, then you'll probably enjoy coming back and doing this as well. So you probably will get your achievements and that along with everything else. So you might as well go and get 120% completion. Plus 120% completion looks pretty cool, right? But yeah, look, we can't go any higher than that. So we'll have to get onto a higher surface before we can come back and clear out everything else. So I think that that is everything explained for Spyro. You know, I've already played through the second game, partway through the third game as well. But this level itself was very, very straightforward. Just, you know, float around and uh, I know, set off some fireworks and that is like it. So that is where I'm going to leave it for now. You can see the rest of the level for yourself. So thank you very much for joining.
Spyro the dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again. 